Hey Summit, this is Edward, you know Jake, and we are got your weekly update coming up. We missed last week, but now we're catching up this week. Jake, I have brought the Screaming Goat sweater. I like it. Because it's Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas, and I know you've been celebrating Merry Christmas, Christmas for six months now. But it's, it's officially December. It's officially here. Merry Christmas. I brought my screaming Happy goat Christmas. sweater. And we're sitting by the tree. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Share this video. We got a lot of information to we cover. Did. I we mean, did. a lot of important information hey, to share cover. This. Share this. Edward turned 50 this yeah, week. Did. He's now a senior citizen. Half of 100. Which means you get half off at Luby's now. You don't I'll have to it. order the big plate. You can I'll order the Luan plate. Luan, yeah. You get this discount on movie tickets. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know about Medicare and a Social Security and all that stuff. I got my card. But you're one step closer yep. to the grave, my friend. Yep, I, I, I am. I am. Hey, let me start with this. This Sunday, we are going to be voting on our 2021 budget. That's why you need to share this. This is why you need to get this out on all your platforms because there's a lot of people that don't follow us and yet they still want to know what's going on. So share this because this Sunday we're going to be voting. Now, here's how voting works. You should have received an email or a text this last week with our budget proposal in that. If you did not receive that, that means we don't have your information. Here's how you can get the information. In this video, Jake's gonna be posting a number. You text SHF to that number, then it gets you into our system. We will then make sure you get a copy of the budget. And if you are not gonna be here this Sunday and you wanna vote with everyone else that is in person, you can do that by uh, voting online. That's right. We'll be sending out another text and another email this week with the instructions of how to vote online and vote virtually. Going to be the most secure them. election we've ever had. Absolutely, absolutely. And for you guys that are in person, you'll have the opportunity to vote, vote by ballot there at the information desk. And our elders will be there if you need or have any questions about the budget. If you guys are at home and you're still not coming or maybe recently has have kind of stayed home because of the virus, we get that, that we're okay with that, but we know you're still involved. You can also contact any of our elders and that information is in that packet that you'll be emailed as well about our budget. So we're excited about that. You guys have been so faithful this year. It's just incredible to watch what we've been able to do this year to continue ministry. And I encourage you to finish well this year to continue giving because we're we're meeting a ton of needs. In fact, Jay, love one. You and I talked about that yesterday. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that because we, we want to continue to give and be faithful, but there's also an opportunity. Yeah. So so all the Christmas tree angel kids were picked up. If you awesome. had a Christmas tree angel kid, I need that stuff back Sunday. I have to deliver that Monday, bring it back in the white trash bags with the number and the letter of that kid on the outside of the bag. Now here's what's happened in the last week or so is we've had a lot of needs come through our desk of people in our community that were not able to get on the angel tree kid for various reasons that they're in our community they need our help some are in our church some are in our yeah, church yeah. some are just in the community here's what we've decided to do because we're running out of time it's going to be hard to go shopping for all of these families so we're going to bless their socks off with visa gift yes. cards and so two things you can do one of two things number one if you want to pick up a visa gift card you know one of those just generic visa gift cards bring it to the church Sunday, give it to me, I'll be at the information desk, or make a gift, all right? In addition to your normal giving, add 25, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever, do a second gift, put that in our loved one. So if you're giving online, you can go to the loved one tab. If you're writing a check, put loved one in the memo. 2,500 bucks, I think, will take care of all of these needs. And if we get more than that, then I want to bless these families. I want to give them uh, the Christmas of a lifetime, and I want to be able to do that. I get the opportunity to meet these people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, golly, I'm just excited about so it. I had, a guy, no, had yeah. a guy in my office two days ago that was in tears when I told him what we were going to do. And so this is a great opportunity for us to bless somebody this season. And here's the crazy thing. We don't know. There's there's more needs going to come. And, oh, and that's what happens every year. And you guys have been so faithful to give. 
I, I heard about a church the other day or, or missionary buddy of mine that, that posted there are a lot of churches that didn't go on short-term mission trips. And they got all this money sitting in the bank and they ought to consider blessing a mission. You know what? When the mission changes, that just means God has another plan. We, we didn't go on any short-term mission trips. Instead, we looked at our community and we found ways to meet needs in our community because that's who we are. That's what we do. Shouldn't be budget money sitting around waiting. And listen, we didn't do that this year. And, right. and so here's what I want to say this year. We've met needs in this community because of you and your faithfulness. And the truth is, there's some of you there. You could write the whole check for 2,500. You could write a check for five grand. We know that. And, and some of you have in the past. And you're welcome to do that because we don't know what's going to come in. But listen, if we all gave a little, we could meet the need in this community and finish our budget well. So I'm stoked about that. I'm stoked about short-term missions. What we're doing right here in this community at Summit Heights is changing this community. And I'll tell you what it's doing. It's telling people that Jesus is a giver, man. He, God is a giver. He gave us Jesus. I'm talking about that this Sunday. Well, let's let's about save that the gift. message so, for this I know, Sunday. I, dude, I'm fired up. Hey, our kid up. venture kids have an opportunity uh, they're passing out these uh, stones, these story stones, one per family. You get to take these story stones home. That's you cool. get to celebrate the birth of Jesus. You get to, there's a handout that goes with that that kind of walks you through what you can do as a family at home. Ashley and Kristen had tons of volunteers that came and did over a hundred of these. They started working on this in September. Wow. They want you to be able to take these home. This is Ainsley's that she took home last night when she was up at the church and we're excited about cool. that. So come this Sunday, pick up some story stones, go home and talk about Jesus. He is the reason for this season, brother. Yeah. See, I did yeah. a little preaching there myself. That's, that's good. Hey, share this on all your platforms because the last thing we want to talk to you about we announced this a few weeks ago, and we're going to be talking about it every Thursday. We're going to be talking about it every Sunday. Our elders met a couple of months ago, and we began to have this discussion about Christmas Eve. For the last nine years, we've done a Christmas Eve candlelight service. And what that's meant is, is there's been a whole host of volunteers. Some of those volunteers for nine years have been the same people because they've faithfully served our band, our staff. And we realized that our band our staff and our volunteers have not spent a Christmas Eve with their family in over nine years. And so this year we have decided not to do a Christmas Eve service to let our volunteers, our band, our tech team, our staff actually have Christmas Eve with their family. We are so grateful for that. Jake and I are elders, but yet we're staff members too. And that meant all day on Christmas Eve, we were there. We could spend that with our families at night, missing those times with them. We're grateful to have that time. And we're grateful to our elders for seeing that need and saying, you know what, we want to bless you. Now we know that's emotional for some of you. And we know that some of you are going, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Listen, if you're looking for a Christmas Eve service, there are a lot still going to be happening in our community and around the area, but there's also going to be some online opportunities that we're looking at, and we'll be sending some of those opportunities for you guys to look at. But we're going to bless our volunteers, bless our staff, bless our band um, where they can actually spend that day with their family that evening with their family so uh that's what we're doing we want you to be aware of that because some of you uh, haven't heard that yet that's why you need to share this video and uh, when we announce this on sunday uh, some people are gonna go oh my gosh where did that come from it's because they're not watching the video so share this and, and encourage them to do that okay so uh jake do you want to borrow this sweater this sunday and wear it because it, it's no. got the screaming goat you sure yep screaming goat man hey. that. Sorry, the video is so long. I mean, I got fired up. Senior citizen, I me mean, just fired up, man. keeps going. Got fired up. You know dude. how that goes. Mm -hmm. Want to go to Luby's? Uh, Half off? No. Hey, we love you. Have a great week. We can't wait to see you Sunday. It's going to be a phenomenal month. I'm telling you, I'm so stoked about what we're doing this month. We love you. See you Sunday.